So the most important thing in the interviews is data structures and algorithms. So we want to learn about arrays. We want to learn about strings, trees, stacks, queues, linked list, graphs. Okay, all of this, all of this is really, really important. But that is not enough for these interviews. Hey guys and welcome to another video on the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel. I am Sail Saluja and I'll be taking you through this video. So guys, in this video, we want to talk about a strategy to crack Adobe. Okay, so how can we get placed in Adobe? We want to talk about that. So you would already know that Adobe is a really good multinational corporation. It pays handsomely and has a really good work culture. And for a software, a fresher software engineer, they pay around 29 to 30 lakhs per annum and the base would be around 13 to 14 lakhs and rest is all benefits and bonuses, right? So clearly Adobe is a really good company to work for and that is why we should have a strategy if we want to get placed in Adobe, right? So we would want to talk about what all things we should keep in mind while preparing, what all things we should keep in our resume, how can we apply and uh, what are the different interview rounds? What are the important topics that we should prepare? We should talk about all of this. Now, on what basis am I going to talk about this? So I have read a lot of uh, people's uh, interview experiences, a lot of students interview experiences, and I'm taking reference from there. And I'm going to tell you a strategy. We'll discuss four things in this video. We are going to discuss what all things we should keep in mind while preparing. So preparation tips, then I'll give you some resume tips, like what all we should put in our resume, what should be the length of our resume, what are things we should highlight in our resume. And then we'll talk about how we can actually apply in Adobe and what all things uh, do they keep in mind while shortlisting people. We'll talk about that as well. And in the end, we'll talk about the interview round. So what all different rounds were there, what were asked in these rounds and uh, some HR rounds also, we'll talk all of that in this video. So stay till the end of this video and please make sure to like, share and subscribe to the Coding Ninja YouTube channel. And yeah, let's start this video by talking about some preparation tips. So let's start with our first preparation tip. So the most important thing in the interviews is data structures and algorithms. So first of all, we want to master data structures and algorithms. Okay. So to do that, we can either buy a course in the beginning, we can buy a course and learn data structures and algorithms. First of all, we want to learn the theory of each and every data structure. So we want to learn about arrays. We want to learn about strings, trees, stacks, queues, linked list, graphs. Okay. All of this, all of this is really, really important. And we want to, first of all, know the theory of them and want to solve some basic questions on them. Okay. Once we have done that, I don't think that this is sufficient. We should also practice a lot on lead code on, or on any other website like code studio. So we want to practice a lot and we should be able to solve a lot of questions. Okay. So if we practice over 300 questions, 250 to 300 questions, I think we'll be good to go. We'll be confident enough to actually solve any problem. There. Maybe this number might vary for individual to individual. So whenever you feel that you have solved enough questions and now you are confident, you can stop. Okay, so first step is actually to be really, really good in data structures and algorithms. But that is not enough for these interviews. So a lot of people told me that OS is also really important in these interviews and they are asking operating system questions heavily. Okay, so one reason for that can be because of the softwares that Adobe makes. So one software is Adobe Acrobat Reader, right? And that is why they want to hire a person who has a really sound knowledge of operating systems, right? So operating systems is really important because they ask a lot of questions on that, right? Also some topics like system design and object oriented programming, you can't miss them as well because they ask these questions as well in interviews. So on top of data structures and algorithms, we would want to master these computer fundamentals as well. So we would want to master, first of all, OOPS, 
uh, object oriented programming then we would want to master uh, operating systems as well right and dbms and sql these are some things that might get asked but uh, you should have the knowledge of them but they are not on the priority first of all on the priority list is data structures and algorithms for sure and then after that we want to practice uh, operating systems and then object oriented programming is also required okay so another tip can be that while preparing we should uh, once we have written the code successfully after that you should once take some time take around 5 minutes to explain what you have written to yourself only so what happens in this process is that our communication skills improve so on the day of the interview as well we would want to explain our approach and our thoughts to the interviewer and if we fail in that then we'll have a lot of problems so that is why we want to be uh, first of all preparing we want to practice a lot so that we are confident and after that we also want to uh, practice our communication skills by explaining the code to ourselves so that on the day uh, when the interviewer is asking us to explain the approach then we are able to do that day okay so if we have practiced like this we won't have any problems on the day of interview and another thing would be that during the interview you don't you don't have to panic right you should ask questions to the interviewer don't panic at all tell him your approach what you are thinking and ask for hints from the interviewer mm -hmm. so interviewers usually are really helpful and they would like to help you if you ask the right questions if you get stuck there then that will be a problem for you so first of all don't panic be confident you will be confident if you have practiced a lot so first of all practice and after that in the interviews if you don't even know anything you have to be confident and try to get hints out of the interviewer so that you are able to solve that question there only okay so yeah these would be some preparation tips that you have to keep in mind so just to summarize quickly you have to do data structures and algorithms you have to be really good in data structures and algorithms because you will be solving two to three questions in the interview and you also want to master uh, operating systems after that you can learn uh, dbms and sql on top of that as well all right so now let's move on to the resume tips all right so if you talk about the resume we want to first of all keep it really simple we want to make only one page resume if you are a person who is a fresher or maybe who doesn't have an experience of 4 to 5 years you will be able to make a really crisp and short one page resume and that is something we want to have okay a resume more than one or two page uh, basically nobody has the time to read whole of that so that is why we only want to make a resume of one page we want to keep it short and crisp and we want to include all of our main achievements in that single page only okay now in this resume we would also want to include one good project okay so on top of data structures and algorithms we would want to learn one more skill so it can be machine learning it can be android development it can be web development but at least one skill we should also have that we are in good in and we have made a good project on that so we would want to include that project in our resume now including a project doesn't only mean that we only just write its problem statement or maybe the name of that project in our resume we would actually want to explain what we have done in that project so we would want to include a small summary maybe you would want to highlight all the tech stacks you have worked on right so maybe you'll highlight that you have worked on the mern stack or maybe you would want to highlight what were the goals in this and what you were able to achieve right maybe if you did a project on machine learning you would want to include some statistics that you were able to achieve this amount of accuracy you will you were able to improve this accuracy from the previous models that already exist right so all of this if you include in your project section will make a really good impression also if you have made any project in web or maybe a machine learning project as well you would want to include a link for that so if you you should deploy that on any website maybe on aws or heroku anywhere or you should simply just push it on github and include that link in the resume so if anybody wants to check it out the person who is shortlisting your resume if he wants to check it out then he can do that as well okay 
so that makes a lot um, a really good impression if you put all of these things if you explain your projects very uh, thoroughly then they'll know that you have actually worked on this and this is not a project for namesake right so yeah this is something that you would want to include um other than that your education and your main achievements all of this and your internships also would go in there okay but try to make your resume only of one page and don't make it more than that okay so now we should talk about the application process how we can actually apply in adobe so if adobe is coming on campus in your college then you don't have to worry about anything then yeah one thing that you would want to keep in mind that they have a criteria of 7 to 7.5 okay so people who have cgpa more or equal to that they'll only be allowed to sit for the interview right so you would want to actually maintain a good cgpa if you are in college so that you are able to appear for the interview of adobe if you are someone who is trying to apply to adobe off campus then you would want to apply either using uh, their adobe uh, website where you can find some openings you can apply from linkedin or maybe through email approaches you can also apply other than that you can ask for referrals from somebody who is working in the company so yeah you can ask for referrals for someone who is working in the company you can uh, send your resume and the job id so that they are able to provide you the resume for that but off campus also they focus a lot on cgpa so they have a criteria of around 8 cgpa off campus as well so they want a really good cgpa from the person who 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 they want to hire right so cgpa plays an important role and if you are someone who is in college right now i would highly recommend you to focus on your cgpa as well you would want to boost it if you have the opportunity right now okay all right so these are some ways you through which you can apply and now finally i guess we should talk about the interview process what were the rounds that were there in the whole interview process so the first round is the most difficult round out of them all so the first round is the online challenge so in this challenge there are lot of sections so the first one is the quant sections or the aptitude section basically so in this you have different categories of aptitude like quants verbal reasoning logical reasoning so first thing that we would want to do is that we want to revise our aptitude as well theek hai we would want to practice a lot because not only adobe uh, a lot of companies have aptitude rounds in their online challenges as well so we would want to practice aptitude for sure we would want to be good in it and it's not like that we want to do some uh, exam level aptitude but revise your basic concepts only so that we are able to solve easy questions or medium question all right now the second thing here was the os dbms and uh, system design questions so these were under the category of technical questions so these were technical mcq questions and these questions are asked there so we would want to practice them for sure after that the main thing in this was two data structure questions so you will get around two to three data structure questions in the online assessments and these again focus on basic level dsa so you will be asked some questions on common trees you will be asked questions on um strings but these questions would have would be on the easy medium level only but um, some people get some hard questions as well but usually they they will be on the medium side and in these questions uh, the approach to think is not that difficult but uh, to actually code them down it it gets a little challenging so yeah for sure we would want to be really good in data structures and algorithms so that we are able to get through this round okay so the online online round is around 1 hour 30 minutes to 2 hours and all of these things are there so it is actually a very holistic test so they test your aptitude your technical knowledge and your data structures and algorithms knowledge as well all of this is tested in this one test only okay so once we get through this then is our one on one interview round so in this first 10 to 15 minutes they'll uh, spend on your resume 
they'll talk you about your projects they would want you to explain what you have done uh, in your projects so don't write about projects that you have not actually done because then you won't be able to justify uh, them on the spot then you would want to explain only those projects that you have actually done and you'll be able to do that very easily if you have spent time doing them right so yeah 32 uh, 10 to 15 minutes they'll focus on your projects and after that they'll test your technical knowledge in operating systems like i told you that operating system is really important and is focused a lot in personal interview rounds as well they focus a lot on operating systems right and then after that without not wasting any more time they'll move on to the data structures and algorithms questions and yeah they'll be there as well they'll ask you some questions on trees maybe on graphs competitive programming is not required Okay, so the questions in data structures and algorithms, they'll revolve around some basic questions on trees, maybe on different data structures, uh, strings, arrays, linked list, all of these topics, you would want to study them. And if you're able to solve this, if you're able to get through this round, then you'll proceed to the HR round. So HR round in Adobe is also really critical because they ask a lot of nasty questions and weird questions that you might have not prepared for. So for example, somebody was asked, what will you do if you were made the managing director of Adobe for a day? Or maybe uh, what makes you angry? And all of these things, they try to get out of you. They would want to know more about your personality and what takes you off maybe. They would try to get things out of you in this, res uh, in this HR round, right? So it is really intensive, this HR round and yeah, you would want to actually read a lot of interview experience of the people who have already given the Adobe interviews so that you know beforehand all of these questions and you can prepare well from them because thinking these questions on the spot can be a little challenging and that is why we would want to prepare for them beforehand. All right. So yeah, this is the final round in Adobe. After the HR round, they'll tell you if they want to hire you or not right so yeah so just to give you a recapitulation of what we have uh, talked about so we talked about the preparation tips that we want to master data sectors and algorithms we want to focus on operating systems object oriented programming and all of that after that we talked about how we can make our resume how to keep it of only one page what all things you want to include and how you want to include then we want then we talked about how we can apply in adobe and in the end we talked about all these rounds and what are the important topics in these rounds okay and how we can clear so i hope you have liked this video please like share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the coding ninjas youtube channel thank you guys i'll see you in the next one bye